Hi, this video is about instantaneous velocity. To understand instantaneous velocity, let's try and uh, see a bit more on how to find the slope of a curve. Let us look at the picture here. If we have an equation that says y equal to x square, the plot of which typically looks like the one shown in the graph, if you can see the yellow line, that's the change in y, how it changes as x changes. Now for such a curve, if we have to find the slope, let us take the instance, let's say first I need to find the slope between point 1 and point 2 on the curve. By standard definition, slope is nothing but rise over run, which means for a change in x from 1 to 2, how much does y change for the change in x? Let's say if this point is x1 and at 2 the value of x is x2 and uh, if this is y1 and this is y2 then as per the definition of slope the change in y is y2 minus y1 and the change in x is x2 minus x1. This gives the slope of the straight line connecting 1 and 2. Let's say if we want to find the change in y when x for, a, for the change in x between points 3 and 4, then it is equivalent to finding the slope of the straight line connecting 3 and 4. But let's say on this yellow curve at point marked x, let's say this point p, if I need to find the slope at that particular single point, then how do we do it? But we can approximate a single point to be uh, really, let's say this 1 and 2 are far away from each other, 3 and 4 are far away. But as these points, let's say 3 and 4 keep moving closer and 4 moves here in this direction and 3 moves in this direction, as they come very close to each other, let's say there is a very, very, very tiny, small distance between them. We can call it almost, you know, as, as a single point. So then what are we trying to find out? I mean, we are still trying to find the slope, which is for a change in x, how much is the change in y? So in the case of P, where the point, two points are extremely close to each other, we are trying to find out for a very small change in x, which we can call dx, what is the change in y, which we can call as dy. dx represents a very small change in x and dy is the change in y for a small change in x. Let's see how we can find it out for this equation, y equal to x square. Let me change x by a small quantity. So, I'll add dx, which is a small quantity to x. So, x square becomes x plus dx, the whole square. Now, when we expand this, we get x square, dx square and 2x dx. But since dx is extremely small, let's say if it is 0 0.0001, then when you multiply this or square this, we get a further smaller quantity which is almost 0 or negligible. So we can ignore dx square. So the actual answer then is x square plus 2x dx. So if you see the delta, the change, this is x square. And this is x square plus 2x dx. So the actual change is 2x dx. So which means when y x changes by a small quantity for a small change in x, the change in y is 2x dx. And of course you can cancel the small changes in dx and you get 2x. So which we know is nothing but the differentiation of as per calculus, differentiation of x square, we call it as 2x. This is how we arrive at that 2x. So, if we want to find the slope of a curve at a particular point, we need to differentiate the equation of the curve and then to find the value of y, we can substitute it with the value of x at that particular point p and then we can get the value of y at that point p. So, nothing but you actually differentiate the curve and substitute the corresponding 
value to get the value of y. Now we will see this further from the perspective of velocity. We know that you know velocity is displacement over time or for a particular time interval it is change in displacement between the time interval. Let's say if the velocity if if we plot time and displacement as shown in this figure, this we know since it's a straight line with a slope as seen in the previous video, this is uniform velocity, which means at any particular instance, if I take the velocity will be the same. So instantaneous velocity will also be known. And if I have to calculate between two time intervals, what is the average velocity, then that is still going to be the same value uniform value because it's it's not changing at all at equal intervals of time the object is being displaced with equal magnitude and direction in the same direction here yeah. so this is uniform velocity so in this case if i want to find instantaneous velocity let's say i want to find instantaneous velocity at this particular point you can call it p it is a slope of the tangent to the point p which is nothing but same as the straight line that is shown here, the plot. So for uniform velocity, there is no issue. I mean, the velocity is same throughout between two time intervals is the same and at a particular instance, also it is the same velocity. But if we need to find it out for a particular curve, let's say in this case, uh, we have uh, displacement and time plotted against each other. but the velocity is not uniform in this case as you can see it keeps probably increasing every regular time and at every regular time interval if we want to find the slope of a particular point in this case or a instantaneous velocity at this point let's say p what is the velocity at this instant then all we need to do is differentiate the equation of this curve and to find the velocity at that instant, we can replace the value according to the time value here, and we should be able to get the instantaneous velocity at point P. So, this is how we find the instantaneous velocity. Thank you.